I heard it said in these changing times, one thing you can depend on, you can depend on that God will not change. That's right. That's right. Amen. Unchanging. Giving praises to God and thanking God for all of you. Amen. To my fellow yoke in the ministry. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. Amen. We thank you. To the leadership here at Pine Line, thank you for Baptist Church. To every auxiliary. Is working for the Lord under the Pine Line Denico Baptist Church. And to all of you, my brothers and sisters and sisters in Christ, and last but not least, our First Lady. Amen. 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 Lady Mitchell, amen. We wish you greetings. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. This is our harvest day. Amen. 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 And we also recognize Sister Anna Brown. All right. For all our hard work here at Pine Line. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 And also, we're sticking with our series, amen. We're going to try to intertwine it a little bit, amen, with the Ten Commandments, amen? Amen. 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 So, we, Lord, Lord be our God and Lord be willing, amen. We try to put these two up together, uh -huh. amen. Anybody believe God can do it? Amen. I say, anybody believe God can do it? Amen. 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 For I know He's good all the time. All the time. God is. We ask you to stand, if you would, and let's go into Exodus, <clears throat> chapter 20, yeah. and let's read verses 8 eight through 11, amen. You have that, we say amen, Exodus, amen. chapter 20. Start in verse 8. When you have it, you say amen. 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 If you're on your way, you say amen. 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 Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. And it says, Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. <laughs> now, six days you shall labor and you do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. Yeah. And on it shall not do any work, neither you, nor your son or daughter, <coughs> nor your manservant or maidservant, yeah. nor your animals, nor the alien within your gates. Mm -hmm. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Let's give you a theme this morning. Keep it the Sabbath. Okay. Keep it the Sabbath. <laughs> now, Christian friends and believers. The Sabbath day is part of the creation story. For we find out that it was written in the book of Genesis, which some know as the, begin the book of beginnings. And if you look into that book, the first book, which is in the Holy Bible, it simply says it, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, I don't know what you heard about evolution, but I'm saying here that the Bible says that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And if you read that story, it goes on to say that in day one, the Bible says that God separated the light from the dark. And God in his infinite wisdom said that I'll call the light day. Yes. And I'll call the darkness night. And then the second day, day two, the Bible says that God made the firmament. He separated the waters. And the Bible let us know that upon that separation, he called one heaven. And then we come to day three. The Bible let us know that God created the land. God created seeds. And he created the vegetation. And on the fourth day, 
The Bible tells us that our God created the sun, the moon, and the star. Yes. And on day five, the Bible lets us know that our God created all living creatures yes. in the water, and he created the birds of the fowls in the air. Right. And on day six, the Bible says that our God created all the animals and created man. Yeah. And on the seventh day, the Bible said that God looked around and said, it is good. Yes, he did. I said, God said, yeah. All right. it is good. And on that seventh day, the Bible said that God rested. Yes. And if we look at our text, it just simply says, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. What do we mean by holy Christian friend? Well, we mean that we need to sanctify the Sabbath day as God has sanctified us. And what do we mean, Pastor, by sanctification? Well, what we mean is that we should set it aside for a holy purpose. Yeah. This is God set us aside Amen. for a holy purpose. If we look into Scripture, if we look at Exodus 31, and the Bible says, that God said, say to the Israelites that you must observe my Sabbath. I mean, this is not no option, my friend. Now, I know we feel that a day of rest means that we can do anything we feel like on that day to rest. But, no, no, no. That day of rest is a day of rest from your usual labor so you can dedicate yourself to the Lord. Yeah. All right. And God said, this will be a sign between me and you. For the generations to come, that I means for you, your daughters, your granddaughters, your great grands. Hallelujah. So that, and why did he say set this day aside so to be holy? So that you and I may know the Lord. So that you and I may know the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Who makes you holy. Amen. And the Bible says, and the scripture says, observe the Sabbath. Because it is holy. Not that you made it holy, but God made, made it holy. Yes, he did. For you. And I'll tell you how serious that was back in the old in the old testament when it said that you should observe the Sabbath. For it says anyone who desecrates means that you don't do what you're told must be put to death. Yeah. Whoever does any work on that day must be cut off from his people. And I just thought about the day, you know, I said, you know, Lord, there'll be a whole lot of dead folks around here. All right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. If we went by that law. And I know somebody is going to say, well, you know, Pastor, come on now. I got to work on Sundays. Yes. And, and praise God for you. Praise God for the policemen, the firemen, people that work in the hospital. Amen. They got to work on Sunday. Because if you were there, we'd be surprised. Yes. But what the Bible is saying here, if you can't make set that Sunday, uh, I pray to God that they give you some time off. All you ain't working is all you're doing on the job. But what the Bible is saying, whatever day, whatever time that God has blessed for you to get off, mm -hmm. that you set some time for the Lord. All right. Now, I don't see talking about I ain't got all day to do it. But look at here, you're not in church all day. All right. Well, some of us have to make this an hour or two. Okay. And some of us not men. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you, it's not taking that long for you to take some time out for the Lord. All right. Yeah. Come on. I tell you, it's important. And why did he do this? Well, the Bible doesn't know that the Sabbath has two purposes. First thing in the moment, it's a time to remember what God has done. Yes. Yes. And I mean, that's pertinent in all our lives. We need to set some time. Not only to think about, but to thank God for what God has done. Man, yeah. You know, some of us are getting so many blessings that we just take it for credit. Oh. We just take it for granted. Yeah. And don't give God the praise, but you need to set some time aside. Yeah. I heard somebody say, even if I don't know what to say, sometimes just to wave my hand yes. Yes. and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you. It's yes. good enough. Yes. But you need to take the time to give God some praise. Yes. Secondly, God made you. Yes. Hello. I said God made you. Yes. All right. So who else knows better about you? Yes. Right. Right. And God knows, no matter how signs would 
a miracle we are. God realizes that we need some rest. Yes. Amen. You know, sometimes we can get so caught up in this hustle and bustle and the grind of life that sometimes that life will lose its meaning. Yes. Life will lose its purpose because we're so busy. I'm going to tell you that you need some rest. Thank you. you need some time to rejuvenate yourself. Yes. And since we are talking about the heart, and we know harvest, you have to do some harvesting. Okay. And a harvest is nothing but a, a word that we say that we need is a way that we go about winning souls for Christ. Mm. For the harvest is plenty, but the labors are few. Yes. And I come to tell you, harvesting is not an easy job. No, so you can go out there a lot of times, sometimes you get tired. A knocking on door, folks' door, and they might slam the door in your face. All right. Yeah, about it. Sometimes you might get offended when you try to tell somebody about Jesus and they might probably almost curse you out. But I'm going to tell you, and you know, that would take a space. Sometimes you get tired of knocking on door after door after door, knocking around the neighborhood. You get tired. You get drained. But again, the Bible tells us that he said that to the disciples, the harvest is truly plentiful, but the labor is a few. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you that because harvesting is so tough that you need some time to rejuvenate yourself. You need some time to lay before the Lord yeah. and say, God, put your healing water and let it flow over me. Because yeah. I'm tired and I need some inspiration. Yeah. Yes, Lord. <coughs> yep. I tell you, it's a tough job. Yep. Yes, if you don't believe me, look at Matthew 10. Don't uh -huh. the Bible say that Jesus sent out the 12? Yes, he did. I say he sent them out, but look what he told them. He was sending them out the hall, but look what he told them. He said, now, I'm sending you out like a sheep Moms. among wolves. Yes. That's a tough job. It is. No. So therefore, I want you to be shrewd. I want you to have some wisdom about you when you go out right. as a snake. But I want you to be blatant. I want you to be innocent yes. as does. Right. But he told them also, I want you to be on guard against folk. But when you come out in my name, they'll try to lie on you. They'll try to hand you over to the local council. They'll flog you in their synagogues. He's on my account. You'll be brought before the governors <coughs> and kings as witnesses. I come to tell you, harvest is some tough job. <coughs> I'm so glad that God said on the Sabbath day you need a day of rest. But the Bible says that in our day is Moses' day. Take your time out, it's not easy. But God reminds us that without the Sabbath, we will forget our purpose. A while we're out here. Oh yeah, we'll be worried more worried about the roof on the church and doing the car. We'll be more worried about the program. But I come to tell you. I, I know some of us feel that, you know, it has got to be done. If I don't do it, it won't be done. But I come and tell you, you need to take some time out and just be before the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I come and tell you, the Bible doesn't know that just doing church work for church work is not the same as worship and giving God praise. Amen. Right. Come, come on. You need to take some time out yes. and labor before Him. Because if you don't labor before Him, the Bible is telling us we're going to lose our purpose. Okay. If you don't get some quiet time before him, we will start losing some of our faith. Right. I come to tell you, God created all of this. Don't, don't neglect God just to be busy for business sake. Yes. And I know sometimes back in the day, you know, things you I can't really get to church, Pastor. But I come to tell you, you need to take some time. Sometimes I even heard old folks say, I, I go into my room, I go into my prayer, I'm going into the broom closet and lay before the Lord. But you need to take some time. <laughs> To lay before God and, and see what God will have you do. Don't you know that God will talk to you? Oh, yes. 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 If you lay before Him, yes. if you get some quiet time, say, God is about me and you. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, no, don't tell me you can't get it because you know some things that you shouldn't be doing, but you can always make some time for them things. Yeah. I'm just saying, why don't you make some time for the Lord who gave you six days and told you to rest on oh, no. yes, yeah. And think about Him. Hmm. I know it's not easy. But if we don't focus, 
will lose our way. So I come to tell you, this Sunday that is harvest time. And in harvest time, we got to renew our strength. Yes, mm, and somebody might ask me, well, Pastor, how do I renew my strength? Yes, come on. Well, I come to tell you, I found it in Psalm 121. Sometimes when I'm, I'm low, yes. sometimes when I'm tired, sometimes it's darkness, yes. and I'm leading light. Mm -hmm. 121 says, I will lift up my eyes yes. uh, to the hills yes. from whence cometh my help. Yes. Anybody can lift up yes. their eyes yes. to the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. That same Lord who made heaven and earth. Yes. I come to tell you, make sure your Sabbath, when you're doing your Sabbath time, it provides you a time for both refreshment mm -hmm. and remembrance of what God has done for you. All right. Come on. Leviticus says, I observe my Sabbath and have reverence for my sanctuary. Yes. For he is the Lord. I come to tell you, not only God told you about the Sabbath, but he said make reverence toward the sanctuary. I come to tell you that when you come to church, you should be going, putting out, put out the same thing that you do out there in the streets. Well, you in God's sanctuary. Amen. All the lying that you do out there, you should be doing it here in the church. Amen. But this is God's sanctuary. Amen. If you want to hate this club out there, you should be doing it here in God's sanctuary. Amen. But the Bible says you should have pressure and power to Yes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, what gave them authority to say that? Well, simply said in that same scripture, for I am, I am. the Lord. Yes. As I look at the text here, it said, now six days you shall labor and do all your work. Six days you shall labor, but on the seventh day you shall rest. And look at here, this is Exodus 34. What you gonna rest? I'm saying, even during the plowing season and harvest, you must rest. And I understand that their souls to be saved. And you feel it's a 24 8 job. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. But I come to tell you, the Bible says yes. All right. that God said, even the harvest, yes. Yes. that you must rest. I'm gonna tell you. Don't you know that if you don't do it all, that God going to send somebody? Yes. Don't you know God don't get depend on you to do it, try to do it all? Amen. All right. Amen. That God knows you and realize your limitations. Mm -hmm. I know you think that. I know you think that. I thought to myself now, you know what? If something happened to me, the church, but don't you know God's church didn't make it? All right. Amen. Don't you know that God's church will continue to make it without you? Yes. But I'm just trying to tell you, you better go out and work out. Get you some rest. Yeah. Yeah, what you do? I get you some rest. Mm -hmm. God loves you so much, He built you a day to get you some rest. Amen. And think about Him. Amen. Don't you remember even the book of Luke 13? Some folks got it wrong. For the Bible says that the Pharisees. One got indignant. That means he got mad. He was outraged. Because Jesus had healed the sick on the Sabbath. The synagogue ruler said to the people, now listen to what he said. There are six days for work. So why don't you come and be healed on one of them six days? Not on the Sabbath. Then the Bible says in Mark, then he said to them, this is Jesus. The Sabbath was made for man. Right. Not man for the Sabbath. Right. What are you saying? What I'm, what I'm saying is God created the Sabbath day for us. Right. For our benefit. Yes. He, didn't ben he didn't make it for his benefit, but he did it for us. Yes. Don't you know that God, he don't get any benefit with you resting on Sunday. That ain't the benefit, God, that, you, that we sit here in fellowship and resting on Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was like God benefit. He had you out there in the streets trying to win a soul. Amen. But God knows your limitations. Yes. He knows that you need some time to rest and rejuvenate. Yes. That you're not no machine, but he made you out of flesh and bone. Thank you. And you need to get you some rest. Yes. Amen. Because he loves you. Yes. yes. 
So God made it, you know, even on the Sabbath day. Don't you know God gonna still be holy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I say God gonna still be holy. Oh, yeah. Just because he's God. But when we do what we should do, the Bible says we are restored both physically and spiritually. Yes. I said physically yes. and spiritually. Now, how many of us work if we got a vacation? Oh, yeah. I mean, if it's a real vacation. You know, some of us get vacation, we work ourselves to death. No. And then when you come back to work, you're more tired than you were when you left. Yeah. And I get with you to the better with you. Yeah. But when you take somebody, you took a real vacation. Yes. You took some time, you did something not for the job, but for me. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead. Don't you come back feeling better, rejuvenated? Yes. Ready to go? Yes. Things that used to bother you, they're not bothering you right now because you just came out of the yes. I'm just going to tell you, in your life, it's time for, for relaxation. Yes. With God. Yes. Yes. Get you some rest. Right. For the Bible, let us know when we take time on that Sabbath day, we give us time to rest and focus on God. Mm -hmm. right. Now, I'm going to tell you now, I, I, I got to take I know some of us going to take this wrong. Now, when you take that rest, not only rest you physically, amen, but you need to rest and be focused. Yes. Meditate yes. on God. Mm -hmm. This ain't about you, but it's all about Him. But we thank God that He gave us this time. Yeah. And God thought it was so important, He gave me the command. I want you to rest. Amen. And think about me. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. But we look here in the text, it says in verse 10, but, but the seventh day is a Sabbath. To the Lord your God. And all that you shall not do any work. Neither you nor your son. Or daughter. What he said now, you don't delegate. You know, some of us get trying to get smart, don't we? Some of us need to listen. Well, I won't do it, but I'll make so and so go out and do it. Okay. I won't we do that. Delegate. Yeah, we'll delegate. Somebody's to do it. Now, God said, now God knows us. He said, no, no, I don't want you to do but your mother, your, 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 your son, your daughter. They need to be praising God with you. So what I'm saying is you need to be bringing, if you come to church, you need to bring everybody to church. Yeah. So we can all get on what a call for, it's Saturday, and we should worship God. I'm so glad that song, you know, when I woke up this morning, I had God, Jesus, on my mind. Yeah. On my mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Man, it's been a great life to win. Oh, yes. But I wouldn't win. Because right. when I got up, I had Jesus. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Somebody don't like that. You don't like that. I'm talking about that. Jesus. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And the text says, but for in the six days that the Lord made the heavens and earth, mm -hmm. the sea and the land, but he rested on the seventh day. Yeah. Therefore, Lord bless the seventh day yes, and made it whole. Now, all other days are good. Don't you know there's a special anointing blessing on the seventh day? Amen. You right now, you're walking in a special blessing that's been ordained from God on this day? Yes. Praise God. Right now, I love God. I love God because he had to concern. He was so concerned enough to work a day in each week that we could rest. I think, it, I think it's marvelous to observe a regular time of rest and worship. Yeah. And our fast-paced our fast -paced work demonstrates how God is to us. And God gives us an extra benefit of refreshing our spirits and our soul. Mm -hmm. I come to tell you, friends, if you don't know anything, don't neglect God's provision. Don't neglect God's provision. Well, he has set aside. You know, I know some folks, man, they think they look at the Sabbath day is another extra day where they can go to the job and make some more money. Huh. Come on, somebody. You know too, don't you? Yeah. Some folks work seven days a week and make it work eight, they would do that. Yeah. Yeah. They look at that extra day, man, I, I can make me some more money, but you know all money ain't good money? Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody, don't you know all money ain't good money? Amen. Don't you know that the devil will have you work yourself literally to death? He don't want you praising God no way. Right. He will have you work yourself to death. Yeah. And if you're not praying up, you're going to hear everything. Oh, but that's an opportunity. I'll, I'll make it better. Mm -hmm. 
Bitch. <laughs>